drug that purely expands consciousness without doing anything else uh, would be the one that uh, is, is most likely to produce the non-dual experience. And we have that in two domains. Uh, in the cognitive consciousness, um, 5-methoxy-DMT and 5-methoxy-MIPT expand consciousness with pretty much without doing anything else. And it appears they very reliably produce a non-dual state. Um, I should say that 5-methoxy-DMT is, is a, a dangerous drug. It's a, it's a heaven or hell drug and it, it touches very deeply. So I, he, you know, I hesitate to point to it because it can produce post-traumatic stress disorder which is essentially a permanent anxiety condition. So it's not a drug to play with. Uh, but that tends to happen at doses above 10 milligrams. Uh, it appears to be safe below 10 milligrams and able to produce fairly reliably a, a fully non-dual state. Uh, the other form of consciousness, the effective consciousness, is expanded uh, by salvia divinorum. But it's much more rare to find a report of full non-duality uh, through uh, salvia, but it does occur, uh, evidently through a similar mechanism. And another drug that has a, quite a good reputation for producing the non-dual state is LSD. And um, the reason that we'll find non-duality coming out of 5-methoxy-DMT and, and LSD is because neither of them strengthens the self. DMT strengthens the self. And so even though it very strongly expands consciousness, it at the same time strengthens the self, and the self is present in, in the DMT experience. 5-methoxy-DMT expands consciousness without strengthening the self. It doesn't touch the self at all. LSD expands consciousness while actually suppressing the self. So 5-methoxy-DMT and LSD are reasonably reliable routes to non-duality, though 5-methoxy appears to, to more consistently produce the non-dual state. <laughs>